Hi, I'm poet and writer Kay Spivey. Today, I decided to go ahead and show you my entire poetry collection. So I pulled everything down off of the shelves. I'm just gonna kind of go through them pretty quickly. Just show you everything I have on my poetry shelves. Also, show you my awesome jacket. It's a Sailor Moon kind of day. I don't know why Sailor Moon goes with poetry, but she does. So over here, some classics. I've got Beowulf. I've got Paradise Lost. And The Wasteland by T.S. Eliot. I have Adrian Rich's Voice of the Poet. Russell Thornburg, The Whole Tree as Told by the Backyard. This one is more about poetry. The Ode Less Traveled by Stephen Fry. This lighting setup was maybe not a good idea. This isn't a po poetry book either, but it's a Denise Levertov. The Poet in the World, Dylan Thomas's Select Collected Poetry, three new ones that I've picked up recently this spring, Tea House of the Almighty by Patricia Smith, Don't Call Us Dead by Denez Smith, I don't think they're related though, If They Come For Us by Fatima Asgard, A Season in Hell, Rimbaud, Rita Dove's Selected Poem, Langston Hughes' Selected Poems, this isn't a poetry book, neither is this one. What are you on my poetry shelf. You see I just pulled down everything. Rupee Cars Milk and Honey. Another copy of T.S. Eliot's The Wasteland. College. College is why I have most of these. Ocean Vong's Night Sky with Exit Wounds. Kelp Song by Cecil K. Pieces of the Dawn by Elizabeth McNamara. Beautiful collection. Uncaged Wallflower by Janae Cecilia. Not my favorite. Drumbeat for the Mending, also Elizabeth McNamara, highly recommended. The Longest Drop by L. Davidson, really powerful collection. Mortal Geography, Alexandra Teague. Todd Marshall, The Tangled Line. Van Walligan, The Black Window. Billy Collins, Ballistics. If ever you're really not sure about getting into poetry, Billy Collins is an easy avenue in. Not to like belittle his poetry, I just think he makes it very easy to jump into poetry. Mary Oliver's American Primitive. These are not in any kind of order, by the way. They're kind of in height order on my shelf. The Triggering Town by Richard Hugo. Favorite collection, No Matter the Wreckage by Sarah Kay. Also a beloved collection, Sunday Afternoons with Tolstoy by Lynn Burris Butler. Another read a dove, this is Thomas and Beulah. Melissa Kwasny, Thistle, really pretty cover. William Wright, Nightfield Anecdote. I studied with this guy. This is Jonathan Johnson's In the Land We Imagined Ourselves. Really thoughtful poetry, nominal poetry teacher. He, he changed the way I look at revision completely. Ripley Hugo, On the Right Wind. This is actually a short story collection. Here we have a couple of little like saddle stitch Pamphlets. This is Driving Yourself to Jail in July by Nicole Santa Lucia. As Often as Miracles by Clementine Von Radix. A Few Pianos by Robert Collins. These are a couple different collections of Northwest Boulevard, which is the literary journal from where I went to college. Incendiary by Sharon Chard. Charday? I think it's Chard. Very short collection. This is a DVD. This is another literary collection. This is Slippery Elm. Slim Night of Recognition by by Emma Howell. This collection was put together posthumously um, and I actually had the privilege of taking a class by her father. It's a good collection. Papex by A.E. Stalling. John Ray Vicky's We Bed Down Into Water. If you want to know what love looks like through dying, this is that collection. Uh, his wife was dying of cancer. I also had the privilege of getting to sit down with him and he has signed this collection, but he wrote something really nice inside for me, so I'm not gonna show you his signature. Avenue of Vanishing by William Olson. On the Bus with Rosa Parks by Rita Dove. I love this collection. I think this might be the best Rita Dove collection, to me at least. This honkin' big one. 187 Reasons Mexicanos Can't Cross the Border by Juan Felipe Herrera. The Dance Most of All by Jack Gilbert. This one doesn't have a cover. Delights and Shadows by Ted Kooser. Also got to meet him. Don't think he signed my book though. Amanda Lovelace is The Princess Saves Herself in this one. Burn This House by Kelly DeVio. I love these watercolor looking covers. This is my favorite style where there's like a slight picture and then the watercolor style. I think that is so Lewis Jenkins, The Winter Road. Dorian Locke's Smoke. 
After by Jane Hirschfield. Father, Tell Me I Have Not Aged by Russell Thorburn. We Spent Our Time by Vern Rudsala. Seasons of Mangoes and Brain Fire by Caroline Wright. The Book of Accident by Becky and Fritz Goldberg. Has kind of a really different cover. This is a Willow Springs collection. I got to intern there for a semester. That was really cool. Get some insight into how poetry is selected for literary journals. And I was just lucky enough to get to work with a fairly big one like Willow Springs. Next, Why God is a Woman by Nin Andrews. This is my collection in its first form. Urchin Heart by Cecilie Klingenberg. I love this cover too. Jim Harrison's In Search of Small Gods. Fortune by Joseph Miller. I got this one from a Goodreads uh, giveaway back when it wasn't a crappy place to do giveaways. Consciousness is a Catfish by Serena Toxicat. This is actually a short story collection, uh, but it's by Scott Hamill called The TikTok Man. It's a horror collection. I went to school with him in Lancaster. And then this one, very different, Steam Laundry by Nicole Stillen O'Donnell. I won this one also. I wrote a review of it for Goodreads. This one is actually like a story in poetry form, which I love. Okay, so this is a little bit of a round two. <laughs> a little more searching found a lot more poems. So I found My Howl by Allen Ginsberg. I also found in my, my Collected Poems by Maya Angelou and my Emily Dickinson collection. I found All American Poem by Matthew Dickman, which I had been missing. Aurora Lay by Elizabeth Barrett Browning. Two literary journals from Arcadia. A ton of literary journals. Oh, wait. One from Copper Nickel. A ton from Sterling, which is no longer around anymore, I believe. And then my giant collection of Edgar Allan Poe. So there you have it. More poetry than I even pulled out and displayed for you is how much I have. And there's probably more lurking, but at least I found all of those ones. So anyway, there you go. I just thought that'd be a fun thing to go over and show you all of my poetry collections. If you have any questions about them, I have read everything but the newer ones. I've pretty much read everything here. I may have to refresh myself because some of them I was reading really quickly for college and probably forgot something. But if you have any questions or if you have any recommendations for things to add to my shelves, leave a comment down below. I would love to hear from you. Anyway, that's all for today. I hope you're having a great week and good luck to all of us. Bye! Mulan has been lurking the whole time. She says, why didn't you do better lighting so there wasn't a shadow right here in the middle? I don't know, Mulan. I don't know.